What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. You need to listen to your intuition, Gemini. Okay, your intuition is very on point. All right. All right, Gem, thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Gemini as a sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I do personals as well. If you guys want to go check that information out, it's in the description box. All right, Gemini. Bottom of the deck is be real. Yeah, be yourself. This is all happening because I feel like you have been trying to conform. You have been trying to fit to a certain picture, frame, social standard. I don't know. And it's not really who you are. I don't feel like it's being fake. I feel like you tried to fit into the environment that you were given. But that's over. The universe doesn't want you to keep doing that any longer. Or you don't need to do it any longer. Okay, so let's see. So you guys will be dealing with an Aquarius or have that in your chart, all right? The first card you have is attend to the details. So there's something important that's happening with this attend to the details. And um, I feel like you're overthinking it. But I also feel like you got to like slow and steady rinse a race and like, don't rush it. Okay. Um, what is this attend to the details? Could be with the, having to do with the Virgo. I want to pull four. Bottom of the deck is the moon in reverse. Okay. Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Judgment. Oh, my gosh. Oh, um, my gosh. Gemini, hold on. Ooh. Why do I want to cry, Gemini? What's going on? Hold on. This is too much. All right, so this is like bittersweet. <sighs> There's some truth, some clarity that's coming to you, Gemini, and this is fated and destined for you to know this, okay? But whatever you're finding out, I, it's like, <sighs> I feel energy, guys, okay? So this, I feel, I just feel, um, it's like whatever you're going to find out, it's like gut wrenching. Like you're just like, like if somebody shot you, like, oh, what? But I feel like you're going to be successful. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like bittersweet. It's like, it's like you're going to find out some massive truth that's going to start spinning this wheel because you could have been stuck in a certain area of your life for a really long time because this truth wasn't revealed to you yet. Now that it's revealed, it's getting the wheels turning and it's like the wheel could have been really dusty with a whole bunch of cowwebs and all this extra stuff. And it's like now that the wheel is turning, it's like now you're seeing everything differently. And I feel like now you're seeing how you can be successful. Now you're seeing your way out. Now you're seeing that you have victory within this truth and that this truth is the truth that you've been waiting for this whole time. Now, I will say this truth is also going to affect other people in your life not just you it's a major shift that's happening um the moon in reverse and the queen of wands a fire sign could not be so happy about what is being revealed with the moon in reverse it could be about a fire sign um that is being revealed but i don't feel this is gonna feel good to you gemini i'm gonna be honest with you We gotta get we gotta get to the nitty gritty of this now. So this energy is crazy. I feel like for some of you, the uh, the intensity is not gonna be as drastic for others as it will. You know, like it's gonna be different. You guys are gonna be different on the level of how this is gonna affect you. But most of you guys are gonna be like, "Wow, really? That's how it is? Like that kind of energy?" All right, I want to see what this truth is. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? Ace of Cups in reverse, the Strength card in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> yeah. 
Here comes his energy again. Um, damn, Gemini. Um, for some of you, there's there's somebody here who you're finding out that doesn't feel that doesn't want to be with you anymore, wants to break up. Um, and I feel like you feel drained because you're just like, now you're telling me like all this time that I wasted all this, all this strength that I gave to you. I was depending on this connection. I was depending on this situation and it's just like, no, is what I'm getting. I do see you have something right around the corner though. Once this leaves. Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse because where you were where you were at, you it became distasteful anyway. You ended up not really wanting this anyway. Could be a job situation, doesn't have to be. But um I just feel like you're gonna it's just like someone's just saying, um, I'm good here. This could be a friendship, I don't know, but it's like somebody's like, I'm good. Whether that's you or someone else, take it how it resonates. Um, what is this judgment? The death card in reverse and the four of swords. Yeah, I feel like for a long time, um, it's like the important decision that has to be made is a trend, is an ending that needs to happen that's not happening. And this this truth coming out is going to help this um, this ending transpire. And it's really going to actually calm your calm your nerves. Like I said, it's bittersweet. Um, what is this Wheel of Fortune? Temperance in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, again, could really be an Aries here, but I feel like um, this was long overdue. This was a very unbalanced energy and it's like um, there was a lot of control issues here. Could be with Sagittarius. What is the Six of Wands? Yep. You have to close out this cycle in order for you to uh, be successful in, in your new in your new endeavor, and that is why this ha this has to ha this had to happen like that. <sighs> this is heavy. This is heavy energy, um, Gemini. So, Wu Sa, okay, Wu Sa. Go outside for a walk in the park if you can, or just take a stroll around your neighborhood. It's gonna really help you clear your mind. Okay. All right. The next card you have is push through insecurity here. So there's something you feel like you can't do, you can't obtain. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting. Could be a cancer, it doesn't have to be. What is push through any insecurity? Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Strength card. What you talking about? Some of you guys want to leave something. It could be a job, could be a relationship. Take it how it resonates. Um, but the universe is saying, like, you're strong enough to do this. You have to change your perspective. You're you're going, you're thinking of something from a lack perspective. You're thinking of something from a lack perspective. So, um, um, the issue is that you have the strength to do this. You have the strength to pull this off. You can absolutely do this. You, like I said, you want to wake, walk away from something, but you're not open to other opportunities, other possible possibilities to make, you know, to get you away from this energy. Look at this, the two of swords, you're still trying to decide. You're working real hard to decide on something that you already know. So, I feel like you need to be remain more open. And instead of you saying, oh, no, I'm not going to get that. Or no, I will never get that. Maybe I can. Maybe I will. And I feel like you need to show the universe, like, talk to your guides. Talk to your angels. Tell them, hey, send me a sign. Which way am I supposed to go? If this is kind of like you're, un, you're unsure of which way to go, then do that. But I feel like you, it's like the universe first wants you to acknowledge the fact that you do have to walk away from something. Like, you have to be honest with yourself, right? Okay, yeah, I do emotionally, mentally, and, and then physically is the last one, right? But you have to tell your mind and your heart, okay, this is it. You know, I'm not going back to this. I am walking away from this. And no matter how much, you know, emotions you have, or no matter how much the other energy tries to, oh, mm, kiss and make up, or hey, look, I'm sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for doing that, that you are still in the mindset of, I still have to leave this. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not... I'm not going to keep um, 
And the way that you do it, you have to stop giving energy to it. You have to completely, not completely stop, because I may, for some of you, this is a job you can't, right, with the King of Pentacles. But it's kind of like reserve your energy. Stop doing more, um, stop giving more, you know, a lot of us go over and beyond at our job. Stop doing that. Give what you can and that's it, because that's exactly what you're getting back. You know what I'm saying? That's equal give and take. If your job is giving you a hard time and not wanting um, to give you the fair, the fair, um, energy that you deserve then you have then you have all the right to pull back your energy because you're not going to give out any energy you're not receiving you're going to pull back your energy and just do what you have to do just do what is what is required of you and that's it um a lot of you guys with the strength cards like people see you as a leader people see you as somebody who is strong and somebody who can handle it so you could be somebody who just oh yeah here you go gemini gemini will do it gemini will do it gemini will do it no 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 I can't today. Sorry. Gemini cannot do it. I have other things. I have a bigger fish that I have to fry. I have other things I have to do. Forget somebody else to do it. <laughs> right? Like, that's the energy the universe kind of wants you to be in. And watch how. Watch how everybody else starts starts getting the freaking hint. Because you know how you you know how you really allow people to you know how you sting people, Gemini? It's by you pulling back your energy. People get way more offended by you pulling back your energy than you saying something to their face, than you cursing them out, than you punching them in the face, than you slapping them in the face. All you have to do is take back your energy. Pull that shit back and watch everybody. Where's Gemini? Where's Gemini? Oh my gosh, Gemini. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because it works. It happens every time with me. It happens every time. And when I started the spiritual journey, that's when I started doing that. Because I, I used to care too much, right? And um, when I started this um, journey a, a few years ago, I was doing that. And, I, and, and it's like people were making me, it's like people were making me feel bad for me protecting myself and pulling back my energy. I'm like, I'm not even doing nothing. I'm just over here in the corner. I'm not talking as much. I'm staying to myself. And it bothers you. What's going on with you? Are you all right? Do you need a cookie? Do you want a hug? Like it, it, you start seeing that almost ev almost 99.9% .9 of the way people treat you has more to do with themselves than you. And there's a lack in the, in these, and in, in whatever this is that you feel insecure about the other energy. There's so much lack that they're making it seem like you're the problem. And it's not you boo. It's just that you are the strength card. You, you are the line of the damn forest okay i mean not the forest of the jungle <laughs> all right and it's like maybe these people wish that they have that maybe these people wish that they were that strong i'm not sure but you got it going on right now Jim. and just people just can't come up to that so they they try to knock you down i've been saying that on my instagram and it's crazy i just love how the universe works with me follow me on instagram guys if this is if, i mean if you want I post a lot of energies that I just randomly feel um, and throughout the day. And then when I come home and I do my readings, it's like they come up in their readings and it's crazy. And, and I don't I don't sp specify any Zodiac sign when I do it on my Instagram. I just post stuff on my story um, that I intuitively feel needs to be said. And a lot of people say that they can relate to it. And I feel like I feel like um, I don't know. I connect with people more intimately on Instagram but anyway, um, yeah, haters gonna hate, okay? Haters gonna hate. What you gonna do? <laughs> All right, the next card you have is set or set. See the bigger picture. Maybe you need to set a date for something. That's kind of what I got. Maybe December. December, okay? Um, maybe give something till December. I don't know. All right, so you have see the bigger picture here. So there's something that you gotta look at the bigger picture. What does this see the bigger picture? I mean, I could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords in reverse. You have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Cups. So some of you guys might feel like your an opportunity is being revoked from your life. Um, it's because I feel like you're gonna be forced to walk away from something. Whatever this is, it could be something that, that you fairly started, fairly new, or something that you started in in Sagittarius season, or something with a Sagittarius. It's, or a Sagittarius could be making you 
walk away from something and it's like you feel um but the universe wants you to look at the bigger picture it's like now that you're being kind of like forced to walk away from something it's like you're getting out of your head and you're and you're allowing you're just like you know what fine whatever whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen like i'm just gonna let this i'm just gonna let this fall down and then wh whoever is here after the rubble i know is real like that's the type of energy i'm getting because it's like there was so, it's like you well, kind of what i said kind of what i said in the beginning where it's like you built this tower right because you were put in a village with all these people that really didn't match your energy or your aura so you said okay i'm gonna build this tower so that people can't really see what's going on and that way i match everybody and every we all look the same because everybody else got towers but the issue with your tower is that your tower wasn't a true tower because it wasn't your true self you were just conforming to the energy that was around you. It wasn't really you. So the universe wants to knock down this old version of you, kind of this old thinking that you have to like conform to your surroundings in order for you to fit in or in order for things to go smoothly or in order for things to just not be so hard for you. But the universe is showing you that that's not going to work out because you tried to be something you tried to be something that you're not and not in a bad way, but you tried to be something to make other people comfortable. And that's not really who you are. And now I feel like you're seeing that um, it's better. It's better to be yourself. It's better if um, just it just doesn't work. It's better if you yourself and then the energy doesn't work. You know, it, it's kind of like it's better that you be yourself um, and, and people not like it than the other way around. And I feel like you're starting to see that. Like you're there could be a major transformation that you're going through. You could have Virgo in your chart, because Virgo is going through a um Virgo's also going through a um you do have Virgo here. They're going through a very heavy transformation too. Um with the, when it comes to their mind and how they think about things. So you guys, you you could be kind of doing the same thing. decisions yeah you're gonna have choices so don't worry what does it tend to the details attend to the details you have letting go in reverse so yeah it's like you don't want to let go but you have to you really really have to innocence in reverse the other energy is not as innocent as they're playing out to be okay so please um just remember that <clears throat> abundance you have prosperity coming in for you it's just not here what is pushed through insecurity love they want you to love on yourself show some love for yourself here Know who you are because you are the bomb diggity and everybody else sees it here. The universe wants you to practice more self-love. Do something nice for yourself today after watching this video. Buy yourself something nice. Eat something nice. Take yourself out somewhere nice. Go somewhere where... Do something that you like to do. Matter of fact, do something that you like to do as a kid. Make your inner child happy right now, okay? What is see the bigger picture? You have innocence in reverse. Don't point the finger, Okay, don't point the finger. Um, you have contemplation. I feel like it takes two to tango, Gemini. Okay, I do want to say that because I feel the universe is also saying like you're not that innocent. I feel like I don't feel like you. I feel like I don't feel like it's your fault, but the universe is kind of saying like you did put on a mask. You did try to conform to an energy that really, you know what I'm saying. This could be somebody else. Take it how it resonates, but it's like you you try to conform into an energy that really didn't fit you but you had to do it you know so the universe is kind of saying like hey you did this too right so just re remember that remember that all right all right gemini that's all that i have i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive